Jack in. The Federal Reserve is who sets what's called the federal funds rate. That is what you're going to hear about today, okay? That is an overnight rate. The federal funds rate is an overnight rate. Think of a, I mean, I hate to say it, think of a one-night stand, right? It's there for the night. In the morning, it changes. It's done. So that is what the federal funds rate is, okay? And that is what banks use to lend to each other, okay? That is how banks go, and it's a short-term rate, obviously, okay? So they lend that to each other without any kind of margins or, or anything like that. So when you've got the federal funds rate, that is kind of your, I guess, your foundation. Then once we've got a federal fund rate, then things start to sort of operate off of that, right? And sometimes you'll hear somebody say off of the federal fund rate. And I want to be very detailed here because people just don't know. I have fun all the time, James, and I'll, I'll ask uh, somebody will call and go, hey, what's your rates? And I'll go, hey, can you tell me what the prime rate is today? Or I'll ask a realtor, what's the prime rates? Right. Uh, your rates seem a little uh, high on, for my client. Well, can you tell me what prime rate is today? Folks don't know this stuff. So I want you to understand how it comes about because it is so important. And that's why we sort of win because we're every single day watching these things and seeing what's going on. So we know what investors to go through. So you have the federal fund rate. That's banks lending to banks. All right. Within the federal funds rate, you'll also hear something called a discount rate. Discount rate is sort of your rate of last resort for banks to banks, okay, is a discount. And by law, every bank has to meet the FDI. If everybody wanted to walk into the bank today and grab all their money out, the bank has to make sure that every night before they close their doors, they have that number accounted for if when they open at 9 a.m everybody's there and says taking it out they've got to make sure they have that when the doors open right well that is the discount rate that is what lend that is what the banks or the lenders kind of lend to the banks hey you know i used to work for a subprime company that lent a discount to certain banks because they said hey we're desperate and we'll charge them an overnight rate hey we'll give you two million but you're going to give us back by noon tomorrow uh, $2.25 million. So that's how banks kind of keep everything in control. But everything that you hear about, uh, listeners, and, and, and James, is when you're hearing the Fed and the, and the media talk about their increasing rates, that is your federal funds rate. Okay? That is a federal funds rate. Now, the other rate that we talk about is prime rate, okay? This is what banks give to their commercial clients, so to speak, right? This is what they lend to them to where um, we're looking at, hey, this is what your prime rate is. We're going to give you this money at X amount. So today, the prime rate is 5.5%. So in general, what normally happens is, and this gives you an idea of what may happen or what may not with the interest rates. Normally, what will happen is, and it's a rule of thumb, it's not a guarantee, but usually, the generally, the banks will take the federal fund rate and add 25 to 3% to that. So if you look at, hey, federal fund rate right now is at 275, you add 3% to that, well, that's 575, it's at 55 right now. Now, we saw a huge spike in rates in June, well, guess what? That's when the prime rate went from four to four seven five. Then in July, it went from four seven five to five point five. So if the banks are charging more for their money, which is the whole point of what they're trying to slow down right now, they're trying to make money more important. 